Did you know, if you look up nostalgia in a dictionary written by me, you'll find a picture of gothic? Some synonyms for the word nostalgic include gothic. Gothic is so fucking nostalgic. Friends, let me take you back to a time when RPGs were long and real adventures. The graphics might not be Skyrim quality, but we don't need all that. Our story begins with our nameless hero being cast into the colony, a world of enemy factions where ore mining and trading is king, surrounded by a magical barrier that you can never escape from, where they throw prisoners. You are found by Diego, your friend and mentor within Gothic. Diego suggests you join up with his faction called the Old Camp. He gives you some directions, and guess what? That's it. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? There is no linear path to follow. No, this is it. You have free reign and you can do as you wish in Gothic. It's a truly open world and it's good. You start off from humble beginnings, a weak little level zero nameless nobody, and as it should be. Explore, gather foods to heal yourself with, find your first weapon, go kill creatures and get stronger and take on stronger creatures. That's what it's all about. The combat in this game is kind of different and it takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you do, it's awesome. Once you find yourself in the old camp, you can take on quests to impress those of higher power within the camp or venture out and join a rebel camp. The choice is yours. Yes, you will start off weak. You'll have to save and load often and you'll get your ass handed to you hundreds of times and be overwhelmed easily at first. But these trials and tribulations are lessons taught from a school of hard knocks. Get back up and keep fighting. This isn't a game where you can just run in guns blazing. No, you need to move, you need to block, and you need, your timing needs to be precise. Otherwise, you'll be dead in a minute. But you will progress, you will gain better armor, better weapons, or magic. You'll level up and increase in your strength, dexterity, and other skills. And then you can go back and show those beasts, the creatures that were once the bane of your existence, how powerful you've become as you smite them and thin their numbers with abhorrent ease. Just don't get overzealous and think that you're Superman though, because there's always that new challenge that will put you back in your place again. Gothic is amazing. The quests are fun and they make you think and they challenge you. The voice acting in this game is superb and sometimes hilarious. The graphics are pleasing to look at and so nostalgic. The combat is nice and the sense of accomplishment you get from completing a quest, leveling up, gaining strength, making wise purchases and trades, gaining new, better gear, and ascending to the ranks in your faction in power makes this game a must-own for RPG lovers. This game receives a 9 out of 10 from me. It's excellent. And you can head on over to GOG.com, that's G-O-G.com, and purchase this game currently for $9.99 tuned to work perfectly with Windows Vista and 7. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, as always.